Good morning vlog. Today I wanted to go through a day in my life working for Wayfair. Um, normally when I do these vlogs it's like over a week and it's not too detailed. You kind of just see me doing tickets but today I want to go through what my day looks like. So first off obviously just clocked in. Um, recently I've been starting my day on the treadmill so I'll do that in just a minute here but uh, first off I check my email, load up all my tabs. Um, so hi everybody, if you're new here, my name's Rebecca. I work for Wayfair. Uh, I am on the supplier claims team. So basically I work with suppliers to help correct issues of shipping the wrong thing, missing parts, warranty issues, those kinds of things. So um, I have no customer contact. I just work with the suppliers. Um, and I do ticket-based work. So basically we have a portal where if an issue is created, a supplier can respond to the issue and then that creates a ticket that comes to us to work. Um, all that to say, first off, I start my day in my email, just making sure I don't have anything that came through overnight. Um, right now there isn't any, nothing there. My electric bill. I do have my personal emails also open on here. Um, so that's just what that is. Um, and then I check my calendar. So um, a lot of times I only have, like most meetings I'll have in a day typically is like two to three. Um, we have a team meeting every day. That's like 15 minutes minimum where we just kind of like catch up with a team. Um, being virtual, it's really important. Um, today actually is a pretty meeting heavy day. Um, looking at my calendar now, I can actually show you meetings from what is this 11 30 until 2 30 and then i have meetings again from 3 30 to 4 30 so lots of stuff going on today but it'll be fun um one of the meetings is my meeting with my manager um we have meetings every week to go over like points of improvement personal growth blah 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 that kind of stuff then we have my ENPS, that's a new team I've joined recently, um, helping to improve the employee experience at Wayfair. Uh, we have a big team meeting, so for all of supplier claims, um, have my lunch break, um, office hours with Patty, who is our L6 maybe. Um, and if you don't work for Wayfair and you're curious, Wayfair works itself in levels, so I'm an L1 and it goes all the way up to L10, who is our CEO's. Um, so having office hours with an L6 is pretty important. So I'll be going to that, uh, kind of just seeing what other people have to ask, ask my own questions if I think of any, but that's that. And then have a little bit of a break and then my afternoon meetings, I'm working with our um, template person and our embed team, which is like our training team to hopefully improve some templates we have. And then we have another office hours, but with Mark, who is our L5 or L4, I think. Um, so lots of things going on today. Some of the meetings are optional. So like the office hours, those are optional. Um, so I'll have to go, but I do think it's important to kind of like show face in those meetings, make sure that you're being known, especially in a company as large as Wayfair. Um, it's important to make yourself known in the space. So I was like showing my face in those. Um, cool. Now I'm opening up my other stuff. Um, on the days I have my uh, check-ins with my manager, I always like to go into our one-on-one -on -one document and see if she's put anything, my manager has put anything in for me to review, high quality stuff. Um, right now there's only one thing I have on the list. She hasn't added anything, so I'm good there. Then I like to check in on my other one-on-one uh, -on -one document, which is, um, called SSATs, which are supplier satisfaction surveys. Um, so I just like to review when she's added those in there. Right now there are actually is some new ones. So I'm gonna uh, check those out. And something with Wayfair is that a lot of our suppliers are overseas. So I um, get a lot of like feedback from suppliers in Mandarin. Um, so I just take the time to um, translate those in my document to be in English so I can actually read them. And then I'm gonna open up these tickets to review them. That way later when my boss and I talk about them, we'll know or I'll already have reviewed the said issues. Cool. And then finally, just double checking my personal calendar. And like I said, opening up all of my tabs. So like. 
just to show you like all of these tab groups. I have my mail tab, my to-do and view tab. These are like my personal growth tabs where it's like my resume and different stuff like that um, and just different dashboards. Um, then I have all my calendars, all my like, um, what do we call it? Have all of my like one-on-one -on -one documents, my ENPS folder, which is all the projects I'm working on there. Do have a personal tab, which right now has my Fidelity, which every week gets a deposit into it. So I have to make sure I'm like putting those into investments um, or not every week, every pay week, which this week is a pay week. So I'll actually download my uh, pay stub today too, as well, since those come out on Wednesday. And then also my personal tab, I just have the weather. And then I just got married a couple months ago and our wedding pictures are being uploaded as of like, as I speak right now. Um, so I do have that open because I have been speaking at them to see what is new. Um, and then on these other tabs, I have, these are the tickets that we work. Not that it's that important, but this is just what it looks like, all the cost of them, that kind of stuff. So each one of those blue lines is a ticket. And then we try to get through those throughout the day. Um, typically on an average day, I get through about a hundred tickets. Um, today, considering I'm in meetings for like half of my day, I'll probably get through far less than that, but, um, we don't have any production based goals anymore. So there's no actual metric on how many tickets we have to do a day. Our metrics now are based on how long we take to do a ticket. Um, so my average ticket time is like three minutes. Um, the top goal is seven, so I'm way below that, which is great. So I'll be getting the largest bonus I can if and when it comes to that, or not if, but when it comes to that time at the end of the quarter. Um, we also use Slack at Wayfair, which is just like a messaging system. So we don't need to be emailing everybody. And that's that. So it is 7.45 now. Obviously, like I mentioned, I'm clocked in for the day. So I'm going to turn on my treadmill and get started with some of these tickets. Um, if you, also, I should mention, I've been with my friend for three years now. Well, September will be three years, so next month. But figured today, I don't know, I just really wanted to like dive in to what I do because I feel like all the content I post that is Wayfair related, um, I get a lot of questions on it. So I figured I would show exactly what I'm doing. Um, only other thing I should mention is every day we document the tickets we go through in that section. Um, so basically, like if I go through to yesterday, we can see I did 124 tickets and shows all that stuff in there. Um, but anyway, I am going to actually get my work day started, start this treadmill and have a great day. And to loosen my coworker, everybody loves her. Yeah. Like every person I've ever met within a meeting is always like, where's Toulouse if she's not around? Because she is always there. Yeah. Yeah. I want to mention this too. Um, I don't typically walk as much as I do as or, or as I have been the past few days. I'm in a step competition with my work. So I will walk upwards of like two hours in a day. Um, I'll do one hour or like 45 minutes at my faster pace. And then the second hour I do, I'll do it much slower. So I'm still getting my steps, but I need to be winning the step competition. I, it's complex. I need to win. It's just what it is. So. Let's freaking start work, hummy. I will say too, walking on the treadmill helps my day go by so much quicker. Like granted, I do not really, I mean, part of me wants to be walking on the treadmill for two hours, like this for a second hour, I kind of forget I'm even doing it. But like, and I have to win. But besides that, like when I'm walking on the treadmill, like it just makes my time fly by. Probably because I'm like hoping for it to be done. I don't really know what the situation is, but if you work from home and you have your standing desk, Next thing you need to get is a like treadmill pad because 
I swear to God, I've said this like every video since I've gotten it, but it is the best work from home purchase I've ever made. Alrighty, so an hour into my walk, so I'm gonna end this walk here. Keep focusing on some tickets, take a little bit of a break, but I'm gonna pick this back up at a slower pace because I need to win this freaking stuff competition. Can't look it down. <laughs> One thing I love about Wayfair is that they have these like silly little things that, I don't know, make you think about something other than work. Like, granted, thinking about work is important. Yeah, 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 blah, blah. But also not thinking about work is equally as important. Um, so like something like the step competition, granted it kind of makes me think about work outside of work, but beyond that, it's just like a nice way to get involved with your coworkers in a way that's not like only about the actual work you're doing. Instead it's about like your personal life. I could be like, hey, Joe, What'd you do? Like, how'd you get all your steps today? Did you, like, you go on a walk and hang out with your kids? Like, you can create that extra conversation. So, we love that. But I can answer that message. I'm gonna take a break from walking for a little bit, but I have to get all my steps in today. Well, all my indoor treadmill steps in today before 11.30, because like you saw, I have all those meetings. So, I'm gonna take a break. It's nine o'clock-ish now. So, probably gonna take a half hour break and then walk again for like an hour at a much slower pace because I do not need to be hopping and puffing like this all day. Whew. This is just honesty out of here. Other things I like to do during my work day that aren't work, my laundry. I would say it's not an everyday thing, but it might be like every other day, honestly. Maybe. Or just like twice a week. But working home has that convenience, you know? Um, Probably shouldn't mention how you do this, but the thing is, uh, this really is gonna sound like a lot, but I do four times the amount of work as the average person on my team. No, that's not an exaggeration. So, honestly, if, if I'm gonna do that much, the least I can do for myself during the day is take, take a step away. I like to think about it this way, where it's like, if I'm working, in an office or like somewhere like that, you know, you're taking time to like talk to your coworkers. You're not only doing your design task of the day. You're also like, I don't know, being social, like being kind, like having more than like a digital conversation with someone. You're like grabbing a snack, you know? So I think about it that way where it's like, if I were in an office, there'd be times where I wasn't just standing at my computer. So I like to take that time and do that for myself at home. And I would also like to mention, this is encouraged by my manager. So don't come at me saying, oh, I need to work during the day. Because you know what? I do. I do a fucking lot, okay? And if I'm being encouraged by my manager to take a step away from my computer for a minute, I'm doing it. So let me look. <laughs> but I have a regular load in there. have my hanging stuff there. All today was a sheet washing day, so I'm going to... Aha! Sheesh. I'm going to throw the sheets in now as well. So, do I fold this today? Absolutely not. I'll, I'll have about two business days till I actually fold these clothes, but I like to at least get it done. Like, you know, anything to step away from the computer for more than two minutes, I'm just like, take a breath, chill, go, you know? Uh, for anyone really curious, this is how the majority of my days look. Toulouse is always on the desk, always in the middle of my business, I've got laundry going in the background, and it's just what it is. So, if you're curious, this is what I'd like this. <laughs> so, hopefully she lays down. That's the best part when she actually like does those things, but totally fine if she decides she doesn't want to do that today. This is the best part. If she lays down on my arm, I can still use both my hands and it's just, I'm able to function like a regular human on my workday. But no, seriously, it's like kind of comical at this point how Toulouse is a character at Wayfair. Like anytime I'm in any meeting and she's not there, somebody will ask, oh, where's Toulouse? I know, you're popular. 
The people love you. Why don't you put her on the payroll? Jeez. She's here more than I am. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That is just something I needed to get out into the ether. Let the world know that though Toulouse is not a paid employee, she may as well be. Mm -hmm. that's pretty common with Wayfair is that our tools break once a day at least um so our ticket platform is called service up um and I'm literally not exaggerating at least once a day goes down for at least 10 minutes and now it's one of those times so during these breakdowns um we all just basically go to our team chat and complain that it's not working again and then we each go our separate ways for however long it takes for the thing to come back on. So in my free time recently, besides working on the ENPS team, which again is uh, employee engagement stuff, um, and employee like experience, I've been working on GBQ, which is Google BigQuery, or like SQL type writing scripts. Um, I paired up with one of my old team managers who's since like been promoted to another team. Um, and I'm helping him with some of the projects he has. Um, basically it's a win-win since he's really busy so he has like a lot of stuff to do and it's like overwhelming and he can't get to it all so I told him I was like hey I kind of know the basics of this but if you help teach me I can help you with your scripts and stuff so it's win-win I get to help him with his script writing he gets to help me with learning this new skill which ultimately like improves the resume gives me more opportunities down the road blah 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 so while this is down I'm going to be trying to write a script to find out the recovery rate for the specific supplier for the year. That may sound like pop of blue, but basically the recovery rate is how much money we have made from the supplier in the past year. Um, I've written the majority of the script and it's pulling everything I need, but it's also pulling extra stuff. So right now I'm trying to figure out how to remove a certain credit type from the information I've pulled since it's not credit or it's not supplier claims related, it's finance related, so I don't need to have that information in this poll. So, I'm going to try and figure that out while I wait for this to load. And part of me is like, I kind of want to show this stuff, but another part of me is like, some of this information is like private to customers. Also, I'm not sure how much of this is like confidential to Wayfair. So, I'm going to keep most of this stuff kind of on the down low, but from what I'm saying, if you, I mentioned this in my last vlog, if anyone knows anything about GBQ or script writing, let me know. I'm learning, I have the basics, but anything to help is definitely beneficial. Also, this is always my day. Toulouse just stares at me. No one loves me more than Toulouse loves me, and that's just a fact. Okay. Oh, things are back on. And there we go. Back to tickets. It's, this happens like at least once a day. <sighs> it's all right though. It's just, it's a spice of life. I mean, like that. 
two minutes later, things died again. <laughs> it just goes like this. It's a whole roundabout thing. It works for a couple hours. Yep. And then it doesn't work. And then it works for a second, and then it doesn't work again. And now mine is acting like it's working, but then I, it, I click something, it doesn't load, and now it's not working again. So I'm gonna go back to my script writing stuff for now. Please don't cheer back. these steps and if you were an apple watch you know if you're not swinging your arms it doesn't count your steps unless you're like actually going a distance obviously i'm standing on the treadmill so i'm not going a distance so put this on your ankle indoor walk now what let's get walking again let's do a speed of three this time usually i walk in 3.8 so this would be much chiller one meeting now waiting for my second meeting of the day and this one goes for a half hour and then i have another half hour meeting and then i have my lunch and then i have another half hour meeting one of my meetings for later this afternoon at like three was canceled though so instead i'm going to take the time to like make out some template questions and all that but for now i'm hopping into another meeting oh hi hey beautiful this game is Afternoon. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. I'm going to forward everybody in this group an email um, that has to do with what I'm going to talk about today. So, Becca Bowden, is that how you say your brand new last name? Bowden. Oh, Bowden. Are we not saying it's a little bit? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, nice. Hello, vlog. It is 1 30. Just heated up my lunch making some leftovers from our uh, every plate meal, I think two days ago. Josh didn't want it, so I got it today instead of one of my meal preps, he took one of my meal preps to work. So it's like a curry, chickpea, rice, cucumber wrap. It's really good, big fan, would eat again. Maine's state law is that for every six hours worked, you have to take at least a 30 minute break. Um, and then for every, I think four hours, you have to take a 15 minute break, but that one's paid. And your lunch break isn't. I know like my coworkers in Utah, they don't have to clock out for a lunch break. They can just work 
their full eight hours straight. But in Maine, you have to clock out. So I've been clocking for basically six hours, have to clock out for half an hour. Um, and then some people take like hour long lunches. Sometimes I do that if I want to like go on a walk or something. But today I'm trying to end work early and take my 30 minute lunch. And Bean and I are gonna enjoy our wrap. And I have 15 minutes left of my lunch break, so I am chilling with some YouTube, hanging out on the couch with my girls. Just like that, back in from work. I have another meeting to go to. Done for the day. Hello vlog, finished up work for the day. Setting up wiffle ball, because that's what we do on Wednesdays. We play wiffle ball with our friends. Thank you guys for watching this work day in my life. If you like this, make sure you like it. Don't forget to comment. I'll see you guys next Monday for another vlog. All right, hello, vlog. Editing Rebecca coming in. Should mention, this was a very detailed version of a day in my life. If you want to see more of me working at Wayfair, definitely watch my other previous work week vlogs. Um, they're obviously not as in detail as this one is, but um, definitely a lot of Wayfair content if you're interested. Um, thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys next Monday.